Hi guys! Today is a video from the bee's life in a transparent hive. It just so happens in the world that someone creates and someone destroys rubs. The situation with bees is no exception, they also have their enemies. And believe me, there are far more than you think. In this video, we will show you the bee enemies that we've managed to capture on camera during the entire observation season. There will be wasps and wax moths and a giant hornet and even a huge spider could enter the hive. For those who are new to our channel, we made a transparent hive in the spring and since then we have been actively monitoring the life of the most useful insects in the world. Let's start with enemy number one. It's not a secret that wasps are always willing to eat sweets. For this reason, they bother not only people. I remember once I spilled soda, so dozens of wasps flew to a sweet bottle. I think it's needless to say about the bees, whose hive is full of sweets. It is not surprising that the wasps are trying so hard to enter the bee house and rob it. They often succeed because wasps are much faster, stronger and more agile than bees. It is necessary to take not by force, but by quantity. It is a normal day for worker bees when suddenly a wasp got into their house. It's walking through the honeycomb looking for some honey, but it is quickly discovered and thrown off. But the wasp is annoying and decides to sleep along the flank. After a short chase, the bees surround the wasp and sting it. At first glance, it seems that's it for the wasp, but having gone off, it slips into one of the combs, leaving the bees in bewilderment. It seems that the bees get the insect cornered, but in fact the wasps manage to get to the very bottom of the hive and get out through the beehive entrance. Being so full, it can't even fly, it's sitting on the hive and cleaning itself. Well, this round is clearly not for the bees. But this wasp is less fortunate, it's failed to find a way out in time, therefore everything ends in tears for the wasp. In this battle, the bees have definitely defended their hive. If the wasp ruined the hive by stealing honey, then such an enemy as a hornet is much more dangerous for them. It is not only licorice for sweets, but also kills bees for feed its offspring. Oddly enough, its diet makes it an extremely useful inhabitant of the garden and forest. The hornet eats various pests such as aphids, acarids. It devours locusts, flies and wasps with a special appetite. So, a giant hornet attacks the bees before our eyes. Literally from the threshold, it is met by a bee that is trying to sting it. But it still can't get it right. Such unfriendliness does nothing to stop the villain. Having stuffed the bees with its paws, it settles comfortably on the notch to collect nectar. It wants something sweet. See how the bee grabs the hornet by the paws and pulls it from the entrance. I've rewound this moment ten times. Oh, if only it'd taken the hints and wondered if it should keep getting inside. Having surrounded the intruder, the insects simply pull it out of the hive. It is easy to see that the bees are still not conflict-minded and are simply protecting their home. 
if the hornet could think strategically, it would realize that it was not welcome there. But its courage and thirst for sweets pushes it to go forward. The bees become like a wall in the notch to block its access. At the same time, they also attack the hornet outside to prevent it from escaping. Suddenly, this is a scout and will bring an army here. That's why the bees have lured it inside. That's the hornet's main mistake. The bees attack the hornet and pin it down. But there are some cases when bees pounce from above, forming a ball. They raise body temperature and thus literally burn their enemy. The battle is over and the body of the hornet has been thrown into the abyss from the notch. This confrontation once again proves that it is dangerous to get involved with bees. If the first two opponents have been visible and the bees have managed to repel their attacks, then the next enemy is invisible, but no less dangerous. No, this is not invisible, but a wax moth larva. It settles in places that are difficult for bees to reach and lives in worms, feeding on their wax. This creature is a real headache for beekeepers, but if the bees still manage to get to the enemy, then you can say goodbye to it. Here the bee has seen the larva and is fighting with it. Other bees are also trying to help. The bee finds a way out and eventually flies out of the hive together with the wax moth larva. I've seen this twice, and both times the bees rushed around the frames for a long time not knowing how to get rid of the worm. It needs to work, but it has to be distracted by pests. The confusion continues until I've unscrewed the screw fixing the glass and released the bee with the enemy in its mouth. We can only guess how far the bee will take it from its home. But the most unexpected enemy, which we've shot during the entire season of observing the hive, turns out to be a huge spider. What does it need in a hive full of bees? Because it is used to catching them one by one. But no, and this one climbs there too. It is not clear how it gets in, but it very quickly regrets about this decision. The bees have literally pierced it with their stingers. Ironically, this way the bloodthirsty hunter, whose web contained more than one bee, became a prey for a dozen angry bees by itself. I'm afraid to even hold it breathless in my hands. Respect to the bees! All for now. Bye-bye!